Hello, Jess here with a quick video showcasing alcohol inks, foil, and the new Tim Holtz Alcohol Lift Ink Pad. This is the first time I've used it, so I'm also sharing some tips and a big lesson I learned along the way. It's also the first day of Simon Says Stamps Stamp Temper 2018, and I'm kicking off a whole month of video tutorials today. To start, I squirt a little alcohol ink blending solution onto a piece of Yupo paper. Then I take turns dropping alcohol inks in Flamingo, Wild Plum, Purple Twilight, and Watermelon onto the blending solution. I move the inks around with an air puffer to blend them together. If I need to fill white space, I add a little blending solution first, and then add drops of alcohol ink. I keep repeating the process until there are some thicker areas of ink. These will stay wet the longest and will hold the foil. Once I'm done applying alcohol ink, I spread a piece of ThermoWeb foil over the alcohol inked background and press firmly with my hands. I carefully peel up the foil and you can see where foil has stuck to some of the sticky parts. Unfortunately, the top of my panel was wetter than I thought and the foil simply smeared the inks instead of sticking. Thankfully, alcohol inks are super forgiving, so I just add more blending solution and more alcohol ink, dry it with the puffer and try again with the foil. You can keep reusing the foil sheet over and over, and I will actually keep that sheet to use on a similar color palette in the future. Since there is alcohol ink in purple and pink smeared on the back of the foil, I wouldn't want to press it to say a green and yellow background, but it can be easily saved for a future pink and purple project. I love how that foil gives it just a little bit of sparkle and shine. Once it was totally dry, I placed it in my misty and placed the large Beautiful Flowers 2 arrangement on the lid. I inked it with the alcohol lift ink and then stamped it onto the alcohol inked panel. Here's where I made a mistake. I wanted more of a crisp impression, but I should have stamped the stamp off onto a piece of scrap paper before re-inking the stamp with the lift ink. Unfortunately I didn't, so I have accidentally transferred pink and purple to the ink pad. I haven't tried it yet to see if it's going to cause problems with future projects, but I'm thinking I might end up with the occasional pink smear here and there. After I re-stamped the flowers onto the alcohol inked background, I removed the panel and placed a piece of white cardstock inside. I closed the lid of my Misty and the ink I lifted off the alcohol inked background transferred to the white cardstock. I always love when I can get a two-for-one project and you'll see that background in a future card this month. Next, I trimmed the alcohol inked panel down and adhered it to a white card base. Then I die cut the good luck sentiment from gold glitter cardstock and the shadow of the sentiment from white cardstock. I adhered them together and then adhered them to the alcohol inked panel. I love that bright and vibrant background with the subtle floral design and the glittery foil accents and sentiment. And that's it. You can find links to my blog and all of the products I used today in the YouTube description below. 
And if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows you'd like to see more from me. To celebrate Stamptember, I'll be hosting several giveaways on my blog, YouTube channel, and Instagram account this month, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the fun. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy Stamptember. Bye!